Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of graphing functions, specifically how we can graph them when given an equation. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So a lot of times in Algebra 1 we'll be given an equation, kind of like we see here, and we'll need to graph it or identify a graph that matches it. And so we're going to do that by looking at our intercepts, keeping track of the zero and the slope. And so we see that this is kind of in our slope intercept form, but we have a little bit of work left to do. So that's really what we want it to make it look like. So we need to distribute out the 6 first. So it's going to be 6x minus 12. Now we need to isolate for that y. Once we do that, we'll look really good because it's going to be in that slope intercept form. The whole thing was divided by 3, but I went ahead and just show that you can distribute out that divided by 3 into each term. So that's going to be y equals 2x minus 4. Now we know some things right here. We know that our m is our slope, right? And we know that that 2 is in that m position. So that's going to be our slope, right? And we know that our y-intercept, remember our y-intercept is what happens when x is 0, right? It's going to cross that line. And most of us know it's that plus b. Let me show you in the slow form why it's a plus b. Because if I put an x in at 0, 2, replace the x with a 0, well, that's going to cancel itself out. So y is that negative 4. So it always just ends up being whatever that, that b location is. So I know my y-intercept. Now, let's see if we can find our x-intercept. So if we take our equation right here, right, what happens when y is 0? That's what that x-intercept is, because once we have that, we've got two points, and we can graph it. So let's do this right here. So if that's 0, 2x minus 4, now I want to solve for x, so let's just add 4 to both sides. So it's going to be 4 equals 2x, divide both sides by 2. And there we go. x is going to equal 2. All right, so that's my x-intercept right there is 2 comma 0. That's the spot, so I'm going to put that x-intercept right there. Put my y-intercept as 0, negative 4. My 0 is actually just the x value of my x-intercept, so that's also going to be 2. And now I can graph this. If I really wanted to make it technical, I'd get a few more points. But for the most part, that's going to work right there. Let's look at another example. Now we have something in standard form. So this is the other type of equation that we have to deal with sometimes. Ax plus by equals c. And none of those really equal the slope. So we need to turn it into our slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and solve for y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our equation. I want to isolate that y. That's going to get me slope-intercept form. So first, let's subtract 2x from both sides. So that's going to get me 4y equals, let's make that negative 2x plus 8. And then let's just divide the whole thing by 4. So we'll go and distribute that out, right? It's y equals negative, and then we've got 2x over 4 plus 8 over 4. So that's going to end up being, looks like, negative 1 half x plus 2. So now I know several things about this. I know my slope is negative 1 half because it's in that m position. I know my y-intercept is going to be x of 0, y of 2. So I can go ahead and mark that right there. And if I could just find my x-intercept, I'll be good. So let's replace... Remember, the x-intercept is what happens when y is 0. So we're going to say 0 equals, because I'm replacing the y with 0, negative 1 half x plus 2. And so you know what? I want to bring the negative 1 half, half x over here just because it's no good to have it as a negative. So I've got 1 half x equals 2. So now I just need to multiply both sides by 2. And we're going to get x equals 4, all right? So the x-intercept is 4 comma 0. My 0 is actually going to be 4. And there we go. We have a slight negative downward slope, and that is my function.